Can I get a witness here? It's when we plant a seed. Now, 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 we, we, most of us like collard greens or mustard greens or turnip greens. We go out and we plant these seeds. Amen. And, and, and we, we, we're waiting on the chronos. And uh, we're waiting. We're sitting here watching our watch and I'm watching the clock and say, I planted those seeds so many days ago. And, and, and they, the, 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 the seed packet said it's supposed to come up in four days. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Amen. Amen. But nothing's going to happen until the kairos happens. The kairos is when God says, seed bring forth. Y'all know what I'm talking about today. That is the kairos. Amen. We concern ourselves a lot of times with the chronos. Amen. But my brothers and sisters, as the world turns, we must, must not concern ourselves so much with the chronos. But we must be about God's kairos, which is God's time. For I'm reminded in Ecclesiastes 3 and 1, to everything that is a season. Amen. And a time to every purpose under the heaven. Now this is God's time. Verse 2 says, a time to be born. And a time to die. A time to plant. And a time to pluck up that which was planted. A time to kill. And a time to heal. Amen. A time to break down. And a time to build up. A time to weep. And a time to laugh. A time to mourn. And a time to dance. A time to cast away stones. And a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace. And a time to refrain from embracing. A time to get. And a time to lose. A time to keep. And a time to cast away. A time to ring. And a time to sow. A time to keep silence. And a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and there is a time of peace. But I'm going to tell you something. There's nothing that's going to happen until God's titles happen, which is God's time. Many times in our lives, we try to hurry on things that we should wait on. We have children trying to act like adults, and then we have some adults trying to act like children. Yeah. And what I have to witness is right now, in this time that we live in, we have babies having babies. We have boys that call themselves men that don't work and won't work on nobody's job. And the mommy used to say they won't even work on a pie train. And I get a witness. But the Bible says that if a man doesn't work, then he shouldn't eat. And I get a witness. And I was growing up, I can remember my mother making us wash dishes. She made us vacuum the floor. She made us wash the windows. She made us mow in Great grass. And I said back then, I can't wait till I'm grown so I can do what I want to do when I want to do it. Can I get a witness? And I'm, not, and I'm quite sure that there are some young people in here today that have said that very same thing. But let me tell you, like my mama told me, she said, son, you better be a child as long as you can. Can I get a witness? Because there will come a day when you wish you 
was still a child. And all of those bills start coming in on you. When the light bill seems like it's coming every week. When the water bill, God knows you just paid it. But the bill comes tomorrow. Can I get a witness? Yeah. My mama told me, son, why are you in such a rush to grow up? Because you only have one life to live. And one day, at the age of 20, I had progressed from marijuana to rock cocaine. Can I get a witness? And I was so far in the world that I couldn't see my way back to the church. That is when I remembered something my mama told me. My mama told me when I was a little boy, she said, son, God will never leave you. Neither will he forsake you. 